I was doing my homework until a knock was in the door. Come in, I told the person behind the door. The door opened and mom came in. What are you doing? She asked. Homework? I told her. Good. I have three things to tell you. One, next week is your last week of school before you go homeschooling. Two, tomorrow you have an appointment with Dr. Ume. Three, some group of people outside are asking for you. She told me. Huh? Who? I asked while getting off my chair and left my room, confused. I walked to the front door and saw Mina, Danky, and Saro. Um, why are you here and how did you find my address? I asked them, confused. Bakugo's mother contacted us and asked us to help you after Bakugo's kidnapping. Mina told me, and tell us where you live, Denki told me. Uh, okay, I said, still confused. I then noticed Kirishima wasn't there. Where's Kirishima? I asked them. Don't know. He went with some of the classmates somewhere, Thero told me. Oh, so what are you guys going to do? I asked them. We were thinking that we could hang out to distract ourselves from Bakugo's kidnapping, Mina told me, smiling. I don't know how she's doing that, but okay. We're not trying to be mean to him. We're hoping that he's okay. We're trying to get the positive things, Denki told me. I figured, I told him. I guess I can get my wallet and we can go out, I told him. They agreed. I then went to my room, grabbed my wallet, and went to my to mom's room i knocked on the door who is it i asked her it's yin i told her come in she told me i opened the door and saw her on the bed who are those kids she asked they're katsuki's classmates they are here to distract me from katsuki's kidnapping i told her oh where are you guys going she asked we don't know yet i told her well okay text me that you found something to do and tell me that you're okay she told me i will I love you. I told her, I love you too. She, she told me, and be safe. I will. I said and left her room. I walked back to the front door. Okay, got my wallet. I said, while well, shutting the door. Does anyone have any ideas? I asked the group. I was thinking about the mall, Dinky told us. I'm okay with the mall. I told them, I don't mind, Sarah told us. Okay, it's agreed. We are going to the mall, Mina said, raising her hands. Wait, Tinky said, making, said, making me, Mina, and Sarah look at him. I forgot. I can't take the train, Tinky told us. Why? What do you mean? I asked him. I did something dumb on the train, and I'm not allowed to go on the train for a week, Tinky said, looking her ashamed. What did you do? Sarah asked. I don't want to say, Tinky told him. Me, Mina, and Sarah were confused. At some point, you're going to tell us what happened. I told him. He nodded. Then how do we get to the mall? Sarah asked. We then began to think. Does anyone have their light driver's license? Mina asked. I do, I answered. You can drive my car to get us there. Mina told me. You have a car? Sarah and Dinky said, confused. Sure, I told her. Okay, let's go. Mina and said, be, get, sorry, Mina said beginning to, to walk me, Dinky, and Zero. How far is your house? I asked. It's two blocks away. Not that far, she told me. I don't know that I, I didn't know I lived near you. I told her, I know. When Minsky told us where you lived, I was shocked. Mina told us, I hummed. And since I know where you live and you're going to see where I live, we can hang out all the time. If you want to, of course. Mina told me. I think about it. I told her, nodding my head. How did Katsuki get kidnapped anyways? I asked everyone. Everyone's face went sad. We were doing an activity until the League of Villains came and attacked us. We don't know why they took Bakugo, Sarah said sadly. Oh, I spoke. But Bakugo was a tough person. He can take care of himself, Denki told us. And the heroes are trying to find him, Denki continued. I nodded. Yeah, I agreed. I'm worried that they're going to hurt him, though, I told them. He's probably hurting them, Saro said, thinking. Then we all laughed. Yeah, probably causing damage, 
Dinky said, and we began to laugh again. If he did, the heroes would find him easily, I told him. True, Mina said. While pointing at me, we laughed again. I gotta say, you and Bakugo are meant for each other, Dinky said. Why say that? I asked him. Well, because you can handle his attitude, he told me. And you can't? I asked him. He stopped. I can. It's just more into the romance subject, Denki said. Yeah, I think so too, Saro added. He also scares people that don't understand him. I wonder what attracted Yin to Bakugo, Denki said, squealing his eyes at me. I stared at him. You want to know? I asked him. Yeah, I do. He spoke, nodding. Well, it's funny, cute. He's nice. If you get to know him, I told him. Is he is he good in bed? Denki asked. Why? I looked at him. I want to know, he said. No, it's none of your business. I told him. Fine, he said. Looking the other way, there was silence like once again. Are we there yet? Denki asked Mina. We're close. It's that tan one, she said, while pointing to a tan house. It was five houses away from us. We walked in silence until we got in the front of the house. Where's your car? Is it in the garage? Sarah asked. Yeah, wait out here. I'm going to open the garage, Mina said, and then went to her house. Then the door opened. Me, Sarah, and Dinky looked at the car in shock. It was a pink Toyota's. We were shocked it was pink. You have a pink car, I asked her. Yep, it was custom made, she told us. It was a birthday gift, so I don't know how much it was, she told me. Well, told us. But here are the keys, she said, and handed me the car keys. We then went to the front seat. Are you sure you want me to drive your car, I asked her. Yeah, it's okay, she said. Okay, I said and went to the driver's seat. Danky and Sarah went to the back. I put on my the seatbelt, and so did the others. I started the car. Everyone ready? I asked. Yep, Sarah told me. Yeah, Dinky said, smiling. Mm-hmm. Mina said, nodding. Okay. I said and left the driveway and drove on the road. I turned around and saw the garage door was still open. Oh, your garage door is still open, I told Mina. It's okay. My mom will close the door. She told me. Oh, okay. I said and continued to drive. I have a question. Dinky said, thinking, why do you have a car and don't have your own driver's license? He asked Mina. I don't know. My parents just did. Mina told him. Are you working on getting your driver's permit? I asked Mina. A little bit. I'm just busy with school. She told me. If you want, you can study it when you have something, no, when you have nothing to do. I told her. Yeah. She said, nodding. I might do that. Mina told me. You guys should too. I told Sarah and Dinky. I'm studying sarah told us i did study and then took the test dinky told us did you pass dinky asked no dinky said looking down you'll get there i told him time skip me mina sarah and dinky were in the store at the mall we were looking at some clothes do you think this shirt looks good on me mina asked while putting black jeans on her legs even though it's a shirt yeah, I said, nodding. She then put the pants into the cart. Me and Danky are going to find some shoes, Sarah told us, and then left. I then heard a gasp from Mina. What? I asked her, confused. Look at these baby clothes, Mina said, showing the baby clothes. They're so cute, Mina told me. Yeah, they are cute, I said, touching the clothes. And they're soft, too, I told her. I want kids, Mina told me. But the pregnancy is going to be hell, Mina whined. Tell me about it. It is. I said, then went looking back at the clothes. Then Mina looked at me confused. What did you say? She asked. I said, I, I stopped and realized what I said. I looked at Mina. Are you? She stopped. Then there was silence. Mina, Yin. We heard Saro. Me and Mina turned around and saw Danky and Saro. Me and Danky are her starting to get hungry. Saro told us, Okay, let me pay for these clothes and we can go get fo food at the food court. I told them.